Market family, welcome back to my channel. So last week was beach week here on my channel. Every single day, except for Saturday, I uploaded a beach theme to court tutorial. Saturday, I forgot that I have Dollar Tree haul Saturdays. So I didn't really want to upload two videos that day. I'm not a fan of uploading two videos within the same day. And then my plan was to upload it on Sunday, but I forgot after work, I had to go to my cousin's baby shower. So I just never got the video out. To make it up to you guys though, I will make another beach decor tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create some starfish, a seashell, and the clam using salt dough. And all of them only cost me $2.50 to make. You're going to get some flour, white paint, and salt from Dollar Tree. The salt is only 50 cents. So like I said, $2.50 for all of this. What's awesome about this is how inexpensive it is. You're not going to be able to find anything like this at any store for that price. So I'm gonna tell you guys, make sure you come back Thursday because Thursday I'm gonna be changing this cute little like forest background into the beach decor background using the beach items I created last week plus some more Dollar Tree items. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll be notified every single time that I upload. Join the bargain family, we like to save our money here. With that being said, let the video begin. To make the salt dough, you're gonna need salt, flour and water. The great thing was the salt was only 49 cents at Dollar Tree. To mix everything, you're gonna wanna get a bowl. Now I was using a salt dough recipe I read online. So it's one cup of salt, two cups of flour, then three fourths a cup of water. Then you mix everything together. You can wear gloves if you want to, but it's much easier to mix with your hands. So if you don't mind getting them dirty, use your hands. Now I read that you're supposed to gradually pour in the water afterward, but when I poured it all at once, it was totally fine. So it's something to think about. If it's not working for you the way I did it, then slowly pour in the water and then mix as you go. If it's not as sticky as you would like, add a little bit of water. And I do mean a little bit, because if you add too much, it can mess up all the ratios and then you're stuck trying to figure out how much more flour and salt to put inside. I kept repeating this ratio till I was out of flour. Now you can double these ratios to make it all at once, but you need a big bowl. And I didn't have a bowl that was big enough to hold all that flour and salt. Now I'm gonna start off with the starfish. What I do is I take one of the balls of dough and I start flattening it out using the palm of my hand. If you have a roller, you could use that. Keep smoothing out the dough till you have it as thick as you want your starfish to be. Now you wanna use something to kind of mimic the shape of a starfish. So I'm using a butter knife. I'm taking my knife and kind of drawing the shape of the starfish onto the dough. Once I've got an outline there, I go ahead and use the knife to kind of cut into the dough and get the starfish to show. I don't throw away the leftover dough because I use that to make more creations. Once I've got the starfish all cut out of the dough, I use my hands to kind of mold out the shape even more. I made five starfish total. From one bag of flour, I was able to make five starfish, one half of a clam, and then the bigger seashell. There's two different ways I try to get the starfish to look more like a starfish. One of those ways was by taking a little bit of dough, rolling them into balls, and then pushing them on each leg of the starfish where they are in the center, so where it kind of all meets. And then I take a little bamboo stick and I poke a bunch of holes into the starfish. You could use a toothpick, you can use like the tip of a fork, you just want something to prick the little holes in. You can even use a pencil now that I think about it. The other way was by poking bigger holes where all the legs of the starfish meet and then a bunch of smaller holes. And this just creates like the texture and appearance of what starfish tend to look like. Now for the bigger seashell, what I did was I took a piece of dough and I rolled it out. Now, if it's fallen apart, as you can see my dough right here is kind of fallen apart a little bit, I wet my hands and then I just kind of roll it out that way and it makes the dough stick more together and not fall apart anymore. Once you've got the roll at your desired thickness, you can start rolling it inward to create the seashell look. At first, it's gonna kind of look like a cinnamon roll or a donut, don't worry, once you have it baked and put near your beach decor, it's gonna look like a seashell. If you've got cracks in the dough showing that you're not a big fan of, dip your finger into water and then go over those cracks with your finger and the water will help smooth out the cracks. 
Now to create the lines that are going through the seashell, I'm using a bamboo stick again. And when I'm using the bamboo stick, some of the dough starts flaking off and getting all over the place. So to clean that up, again, I just put my finger into water and then use my finger to clean it up and then smooth out areas where I didn't necessarily like the line at. Use the water as if it was an eraser. When you're done with each of your creations, just set them aside on a baking pan. Now the next thing I created was the clam. I took some dough, just a small little ball, and then I started using my palm to kind of mesh it out. I don't make it too smooth, but I mesh it out to kind of mimic a bowl. Then I take another piece of dough and I roll it out till I got a roll that could go around the piece that I made look like a bowl. Then I start to make the shape of the clam using my hands. Now the clam was the hardest one for me to make just because I feel like it's the most intricate of them all and involves you using your hands a lot more than the rest did. To smooth everything out as always you just want to use water so if there's an area that's like not smooth enough dip your hands into the water then use it to smooth it out. Don't pour water into it if you do that you're really just going to mess up all of the dough. Now you can let the dough air dry if you want to. I put mine inside of the oven because I wanted them to be done sooner. They say that you should wait 24 hours for it to dry. I preheated my oven to 300 degrees. Once I was done molding everything out, I put them into the oven. I read that you cook the dough for 30 minutes. I just went back and forth looking at all the pieces and seeing if they were done because the clam was thicker than the smaller starfish I made. The smaller starfish cooked faster. The clam took the longest. So I just kind of went back and forth checking it out. If it didn't look done, I kept it in there for long. It, it was, I would say the clam I left in there for about 50 minutes. The same with the bigger seashell and then the starfish were done in 30 minutes. The final thing I did was take some white acrylic paint from Dollar Tree and paint all the starfish white. I just painted one layer on all the starfish. For the clam, I painted a couple of layers um, just because I wanted the clam to be an opaque white. Whereas a starfish, I really did like the natural color from the flower, but I wanted a little bit more white incorporated into it. As for the seashell, I didn't paint it at all. I liked the color of the seashell the way it looked. And that's all I did to make all of these. Like I said, it only cost me $2.50 to make, which is awesome. Then you could decorate these however you like. I ended up tying three of the starfish together using twine and putting some pearls inside of the clam. Totally up to you. I'm aware that clams don't have pearls inside of them. I know oysters do, but I just put pearls inside of my clam bowl just because that's all I had to fill the bowl up. So that is it for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.